I think these, a lot of these ones, just looking at it on the app, are really good. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different variation in here. So pediatric, API score, EKG findings, CT before LP, hypothermia, ABCs, cute picture of a cat. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I think this is great, and this just highlights the amount of variety we see on a shift and um, how quickly and easy, you know, it, easy it was to come up with this list. So um, something you can definitely incorporate in after a patient or a, a student presents a patient to you, um, just if you have these kind of ready to go and can quickly go through with them, uh, they'll feel that like uh, deliberate teaching being done. All right, perfect. Well, next uh, I'll hand it over to Cami, who's going to explain. Uh, what sort of interactive uh, part of our presentation is going to be. What's funny about that that just struck me is I can tell there's experienced teachers in here because you all have like your own students. Um, you know, I, I like environmental stuff and I'm actually freezing and I'm actually in a mild state of hypothermia right now. So <laughs> that's why I chose to do that. But, um, you know, I think that it's kind of an experienced educator's task to have something that you can always go to, you know, hyperthermia, hypothermia, uh, shake bite, uh, some of these EKG experts, sympathy. Um, I can't do that on everything. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not EKG or ultrasound experts, but I think as you get more experience, you'll have maybe 10 notepad things that you can always go to, and you'll add to that you know, catalog. So it was, it was interesting to see people For the next um, like 15 minutes or so, we're going to uh, break out into groups and actually practice some of these micro-teaching methods that we've been talking about here. Um, so ideally, we want you to break into groups of two, but a group of three is fine as well. Um, one person is going to play the role of the teacher, and one per person is going to play the role of the learner. Um, if you have a third person, they can serve as um, an observer and kind of provide feedback on your teaching, um, and then you can rotate through roles. So the learner and the teacher are each both going to roll a die. We have dice here for you. Um, and then the number that you roll corresponds um, to one of these micro-teaching methods that we just talked about for the teacher. Um, and then for the learner, one of these cheat complaints. Um, on your handouts, we have some suggested um, case presentations as well as suggested learning points for each case. These should be really brief HMPs, kind of at a medical student level presentation that you're doing. Um, so feel free to use those, or obviously you can use your imagination and come up with your own. Um, and I think on the next slide we have a QR code to the handout too, um, if, if we don't have enough paper copies. So I'll go ahead and pass out the supplies. We also have these mini whiteboards as well as post-its and pens if you're wanting to try um, whiteboard teaching or post-it skills. <laughs> 